say, uh, from the 1979 report, the structural separation of the pylon was caused by a complete failure of the forward flange of the aft bulkhead. So the forward part of the aft bulkhead, after its residual strength had been critically reduced by the fracture and subsequent service life. So in other words, it had a fracture, it had been flying for quite some time. Those two things were a bad combination. It goes on to say uh, the overload fracture and fatigue cracking on the pylon aft bulkheads up Upper flange were the only pre existing damage on the bulkhead. The length of the overload fracture and fatigue cracking was about 13 inches. That's a long crack. The fracture was caused by an upward movement of the aft end of the pylon, which brought the upper flange and its, uh, its fasteners into contact with the wing clevis. The pylon to wing attachment hardware was properly installed at the attachment point. So in other words, it wasn't a maintenance issue. They installed everything properly. All right, all electrical power to the number one generator and bus and so forth it all came apart. And those are all, it goes into detail now about all the things that failed because the engine departed, but the engine departed because that aft mounting point had a 13 inch fracture in it. It was just a matter of time under the stress of all those cycles of taking off and landing that that thing was gonna give way. We'll be right back, but first a quick word from our sponsor. I've tried a lot of wallets over the years and as wallets keep getting smaller, there's a new problem you can't actually get your cards out of the wallet. I mean, seriously, look at this. I can divert a jet in a thunderstorm, but getting a card out of this thing is a no-go. It's like trying to retrieve a boarding pass from a locked briefcase at 35,000 feet. But I finally found a wallet 